Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Lumentop. This is the FW21. Now, I was sent this by Lumentop directly. This is a cool white version. Comes in this box. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. And we have the very nice detailed user manual. Now this is in multi languages as well. A lot of information about programming this light is in here as well, including the type of software that's in there. Now we're going to go ahead and show you this next. This is telling you how to take the battery in and out of the light and I'll show that to you in the video here next. And you have a couple of O-rings and a seal. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. There it is. Now the nice thing about this one runs on a bigger cell, the 21700 cell. You can also run the 18650 because as you can hear there's a little bit of movement in there. There's a little plastic adapter in there and I'll show that to you a little bit later on. Now here is the graphite gray body on this. Knurling on here again is, is not rough so it's more of cosmetic. Now the clip here is pretty heavy duty. Tail clicky on there. Style and design on this is very nice. Really nice, compact. Even with that battery still is compact to fit in your hand easily. Great for EDC. Now the machining and finish on this is excellent. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the special optics. Now my version is running the Cree XP-L High LEDs, three of them in there. A little bit of a frost color on the lens. It'll be real floody on that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take this apart. You want to move it from the head, from the barrel. Take a look here at the spring. See the drivers there. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to take this apart carefully by holding the clip and you're going to hold it upright so you don't lose the button out of its area there that needs to make perfect contact so we're going to go ahead and take that out show you the tail spring here pretty heavy duty so now I'm going to show you this is the battery adapter here. Make sure this is all pushed in. As you can see there, that way you can run 18650 cells. But we're not going to use that type of cell. We're going to use a bigger cell. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this back together, hold it upright, and make sure that we got it perfectly lined up. And once we do, we'll start screwing it here slowly and make sure you get it perfectly aligned. Once you do that, give it a good snug and you're back in business. So now 
we're going to show you the battery I'm going to be using is a Giz fan. This is a 21700 cell. This is a 15 amp cell. So you got 4800 milliamps on this. So, so this should provide plenty of power for this light, including run times. Goes in there like that. Make sure that you use unprotected cells at least 10 amp or higher. Now, most of your 21700 cells are 10 amp or higher, so that's a benefit. You want to make sure it's 10 amps or higher when you, whatever you buy, buy OEM whenever possible. Unless you can get a really good price on these cells, which I did, they were under three dollars, so I bought quite a few of them. So now let's go ahead and go over the UI. Now this is a fully programmable light. We're not going to go through all of that. A lot of steps. The video would be extremely long. But I'm going to go over the basics with you on what you can do on the locking out the light, checking the voltage of your light, changing from stepping, ramping. And we're going to go over that now. Alright, so we're going to turn it on. As you can see, cool white. We'll go over the beam first. Really floody beam on that, as you can see. Just a complete flood. It tapers off towards the edges, which is normal. Now this is on default ramping, so all you have to do is raise that up. 2800 lumens. If you want turbo, you can double click. That gets you turbo 2800 lumens. A large amount of light man and then of course you can turn that back down and ramping is actually pretty smooth and pretty fast so that's good now if you want to change from ramping to stepping while it's on one two three now we're on stepping mode so we're going to go ahead and go through those light outputs now if you do press and hold each one it's only going to go back and forth from one light level to the other. So back, see how it only goes, it won't go any higher or lower. So you basically need to hold down that switch at any time and you're back down to the regular UI. That's the lowest light output. I like the ramping, it has the lowest light level you can get which is called floor. So that looks really good. So now from off, we're going to go ahead and click it three times. One, two, three. We'll get you a battery check. One, two, three, four. One, two. So 4.2 volts on that battery. Freshly charged. And it'll keep doing that until you click the button and it'll shut it off. So now, to lock out the light, which you're going to want to do for safety of this light, because if you have it on memory that it is on high, it's going to get really hot and possibly burn up whatever you have it stored in or your pocket. So just from off, one, two, three, four. So now that turns that off. And so now it will only momentarily come on. Okay. One, two, three, four. That turns the light and you're back in business. Turning it off and going back through those light outputs. Now you can also lock out this light here. One, two, three, four. It's locked out. Now you can simply untwist the head a little bit, make sure it breaks good contact. And you'll see it blank. Now you're back in business. You can unlock it that way. A little bit quicker that way, or you can do it the four clicks to unlock it as well. And we'll go ahead change that back to the ramping because that's what I'm going to be using here. One, two, three. And we're back on the ramping. Okay, so now we're going to do the special modes. You're going to click this three times, but you're going to hold the third click. One, two. And hold that. And that activates the candlelight mode. It kind of flickers. And you can adjust the slide output on this too. Make it brighter. It just looks like a candle. I'll give you an idea there. Does that look cool? 
that's amazing and it looks really cool if you have like a diffuser and you put over the top of that um, it looks really nice and then you're going to double click to go to the next mode which is bike mode uh, some people call it pulse and you can raise the light level on this one as well so you can make it brighter so if you have a bicycle and you ride at night this is going to be great for you you can lower that down to just where it's just barely blinking all right so we're going to double click again now we're on a party mode now this party mode you can increase or decrease the speed on the flash so we're going to raise it up a little bit more becomes more faster see how it changes there on the camera and then we'll raise it up even more to where it's almost just a really super fast flicker and then all the way down it's more slows it down so that's party mode one two now you have tactical strobe and that there is very uh, distracting and it's variable in speed and no you cannot adjust the light output on this mode one two now we're on the next mode and this here is really an interesting uh, this is called a thunderstorm uh, it kind of gives you that simulated lightning strikes in the background and it's really interesting if you put a diffuser on it again or put it in a corner of a room it's pretty amazing. I really enjoyed this. We had the fireplace going one time. I put this in there on the corner and having that flicker brightness uh, was really cool. A lot better without the sound on the storm. <laughs> A lot better just see it visually. Uh, my wife is scared of uh, lightning and thunderstorm, but this was easy for her and it looked great. Kind of give you an idea on how that does that. Then of course you can double click again. It'll go back to the candlelight mode. It's like a little burning candle. Click it one time. It'll go off. And then from off you can turn that back on. And you're back to the regular UI. Click it one time to turn it off. Really like the looks of these. I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to get a copper version of this. Because I really liked the copper version I did on a previous video and this is the original so you can kind of see the difference in size as you can see here even the thickness this is bigger all the way around and a little bit longer they look like they're side by side kind of give you an idea even on the heads Head is pretty much pretty much the same size, a little bit thicker around. You can see there. So same flood beam type performance. So so I've got to take my hats off to Lumentop. These are really a solid light, great performing, huge flood area. Um, really was impressed with these. I did this one here quite a while ago, and then I just recently. Uh, did a review on this so this was really a nice conversation piece but this one here definitely is nice got the bigger battery so you're gonna get a little bit better runtime so let's wait no further let's take this little bad boy outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the lumen top FW21. Let's get started. It is on. I have it on ramping. And you can easily see about five, about five feet on this lowest light output. So that's pretty low. I'm going to ramp it up here a little bit. So we can light up that water spout is 35 feet from where I'm standing here. Now I post all my distances, my night shots in my Facebook group. 
So if you need, check them out, verify my distances, because I don't remember them all. There it is on the fence, real floody beam. Got the bigger battery, give you more run time, especially if you use a high amp and milliamp battery. Not quite to the tree yet. You can see there, before and after here, just kind of give you an idea how the beam is. All right. And we're gonna go up a little bit higher here on the Tree of Life, see how it does. A little bit higher there, it is making the Tree of Life. Let's see. Been cold here, raining. Really an interesting spring. So not too many leaves are coming in. They are on some of the trees here, as you can see, but not really on the Tree of Life just yet. Fence line, tree line, real floody on this light output. And this light here, because of the optics, perfectly normal. Again, I want to thank Lumentop for sending me these to review. Really appreciate it. Always willing to help out. So now we're going to go up a little bit higher, see how it does. A little bit higher, before and after here again. And we'll do it again on turbo. Give you an idea. All the way down to the ground. Just a huge amount of light. There we go. This looks really good. A lot of ice on the grass here. You can see the the fog rolling in around the ground level there. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, and we're going to go up to high here. Let's see how it does here on the tree. And the fence looks good. We'll do a beam profile here. Really nice wide. Now the beam tapers off from the main part of the flood area behind my hand you can see there so <laughs> a lot of light output on here I hope I can get the turbo here before the the mist starts rolling in and affecting my shot more so that's what we're going to do here on the tree of life let's see how it does 138 feet to this tree. Let's see how it does. Look at that. <laughs> Incredible. Huge wall of light before and after here. Look at that. Insane amount of light for such a small, compact everyday carry. Sorry about the mist. Didn't realize it's going to be this cold tonight. Thought it'd warm up a little bit, but it's not happening. But that actually makes the shot look really cool. <laughs> wow. Now it has stepped down a little bit, so I'm going to double click again. There we go. It'll be in profile on this highest output. Look at that, way out behind my hand, all the way out, isn't that crazy? That's amazing. I'll pan around one more time before the dog come gets me. <laughs> Double click again here, all right. And I hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. 
really like the performance on this very similar to the other models that I've done as far as light output and the way the beam is but the fact that this runs on a little bit better bigger more powerful battery will get you the run time that you desire especially on turbo of course the battery is going to cycle down it's not made to run on that but if you run it halfway to closer to high 800 lumens this thing did really well out there I ran it for quite a while didn't see any step down so that's a lot of light especially floodlight from such a small compact little light like that looks good like I said the build quality on these are excellent I'm not seeing any issues even with this very nice programmable UI is really a big plus for a lot of people that are flashaholics. Now I want to thank Lumentop for sending me this to review. Now if this is something you are interested in getting, especially after seeing those night shots, I'll leave a link down in the description area where you can pick this up. And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these Lumentops to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.